Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa Explains It All. Today I am showing you how I made this beautiful gold geometric DIY cake stand. Um, I made this for a friend's baby shower and I thought it turned out super cute. I love it. I'm always looking for things that are kind of neutral and modern and just um, goes with everything else that I'm doing in the party. So this was perfect to me and it was so easy and affordable. Um, it came in around $25. And so if you'd like to learn how to make this too, then stay tuned. So I found these beautiful gold geometric candle holders actually from Amazon of all places. I love Amazon. They were $19.62. I thought they were a really great deal. And they're actually candle holders that had like a little dish inside. And I went ahead and took those out. Um, I just kind of bent the candle dish back and forth that kind of sits inside until it came apart. But you could also cut it with wire cutters. Um, the taller one is what I'm using for the stand and it's about six inches tall. And I also found this awesome dish from Goodwill or I think Salvation Army for about 99 cents. And this was a great deal. Just looking for like a flat dish that I can set the cake on top of. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the taller of the two candle holders after I've removed the little candle holder dish from inside and just glue it to the top after I spray paint. And I'll do it like this. And it was fortunate enough that this dish actually had this outer ring on the bottom. So it was like perfect placement to hold the geometric stand. So I'm taking a Rust Oleum uh, paint and primer in one. This is one of my favorite brands and types. And I'm using a gloss. This was actually a plastic uh, plate and I kind of wanted to imitate the look of porcelain. So I did choose a gloss finish and I just gave it a nice generous coat. Um, you can do two coats if you want, but one did it for me. Um, just kind of painted it, make sure it's covered completely, nothing showing through. And then I let it dry overnight. And then it was ready to glue. So it came out looking pretty nice. And I am using my favorite craft glue, which is E6000. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and flip my plate over and um, make sure I know where I'm going to place it. And I'm just going to kind of um, take that glue, put it along the outer edge there, and then I'm going to flip it over and apply it to the plate. And of course, it makes my husband super nervous when I do this over the carpet. But <laughs> so I'm just putting the glue on here. I tried to um, put a generous amount on and I'm kind of started to glop a little bit. So I just turned it over to kind of control some of the drips. But I want to be pretty generous with this because the surface area of this metal rim is not very large. And so I wanted to have, you know, as much to grab onto as it can. So I kind of glop it on because you're not really going to see the bottom of the cake stand. So I don't really mind if there are some glue, you know, spots and it's clear anyway. So I don't think anyone's going to really be inspecting it, but I'd rather have like a nice firm hold of glue than worry about getting a perfectly straight, you know, line of glue. Now, some of my glue does look like it's about to drip here. So I do turn it and, um, put it on my work surface just to kind of get rid of a drip or two. And then I am ready to place it on my plate. So I've kind of centered it over here. And like I said, I got really lucky that this plate had a rim on the bottom that was just the right size. And I just give it a nice firm press and then I let it dry. And this type of glue, usually I let it dry overnight or maybe even longer just to really set it up. And this is the final product. I was so happy with how it turned out. And I actually had opportunity to use this at a baby shower. And so I'll show you that here. And it's deceiving just the angle of the camera because this bottom tier is actually taller. Um, and the top tier is the smaller of the cake stands. I think it's only about a little over four, maybe four and a half inches tall. So uh, it turned out really great. I'm so happy with it. And I'll add this to my collection of cake stands to use in the future. So that is it. It was really easy as you could see to make. It really didn't take that long and it wasn't too expensive to make. Um, some of the cake stands I've seen out there are pretty pricey for something like this or you can't find it. And so I thought for $25 or so, this was a great find. Um, I was able to find the plate at the thrift store, of course. I only used a little bit of the $7 spray paint can that I bought from Michaels. Um, and I did, you know, purchase the candle holders from uh, Amazon and I'll put that in the description. And then the glue was like 288 from Walmart. So it really wasn't very expensive to kind of put everything together and it came out super great. Um, now I haven't tested this in the dishwasher, so I probably wouldn't run it there. I would probably just stick with, you know, cleaning it, um, hand washing 
and I don't think I would put food directly on the plate because it's not uh, food safe. I mean, all I did was just kind of spray paint it. And so I always have my cake sitting on like a cake drum or something like that. So if you were interested in putting like cookies or some kind of treat on this, I would probably put like a little like paper doily or just some kind of barrier down so that it doesn't actually touch the food. Um, but other than that, I think this is super cute. I think you could, you could even theme it to your parties by spray painting different colors. It doesn't have to be white. Um, you could spray paint the whole thing like a really like bright teal or mint or pink or whatever color matches your party. So go crazy with your imagination and uh, let me know if you've tried this and if it works for you. So uh, if you like this video, hit subscribe and I will see you guys next time with more DIY.